Hello everyone, welcome to Circle Time. If you like my channel, please like it and please subscribe. Thank you. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nathaniel. Good morning, Nuria. Circle time is here. Good morning, Noah. Good morning, Nadia. Good morning, Nicolas. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is the first week of December. I'm wearing a Christmas tree necklace and a Christmas tree t-shirt. Some people purchase trees, real trees, or artificial trees and decorate them in their homes for Christmas. Does your family celebrate Christmas? Does your family usually have a real Christmas tree or an artificial Christmas tree? Or do you celebrate Christmas and not have a tree? That could happen too. So let's see, For we're going to talk, well, we're going to um, read a book about Christmas trees and we are going to talk about our vegetable for today. And actually, it, vegetables for today is they're called San Marzano plum tomatoes. Guess what? Tomatoes are a fruit. Anything that has seeds on the inside is a fruit. However, we eat tomatoes like a vegetable because tomatoes are not super sweet the way most fruits are so we cook it as a vegetable with sauces in soups but these are so yummy you can eat these just as they are you wash them and eat them i'll put a little salt on my tomatoes and it's yummy 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 these mini plum tomatoes have about 51 calories per cup there's about of uh, for your average daily allowance of vitamin C and vitamin A, it's 30% in a cup of um, these little plum tomatoes, which is a lot of vitamin C and vitamin A. And also you get 16% of your average of your daily requirement in iron. I know that also tomatoes have um, potassium in them as well. Some people need to be careful with how much potassium they ingest because they may have diabetes. If you have diabetes and you're on diabetic medicine, you need to be careful about how much potassium you eat. I know that because my father has diabetes and I had to take care of him and now he's taking care of himself. So um, anyhow, um let's go ahead and oh and my abc feelings card for today is the letter n n is for feeling naughty i'm feeling naughty because i hid my sister's homework <gasps> look at her little naughty face i wonder why she's feeling naughty when do you feel naughty do you feel naughty sometimes do you feel naughty when you're tired do you feel naughty when you're hungry? Do you feel naughty when you're sick? Do you feel naughty when you're bored? Parents, this is usually, those are usually the moments where maybe if a child is naughty, you may suspect that they're hungry, tired, coming down with something, maybe sick, 
and may be bored. Children come to us perfect. Mm -hmm. They're just perfect when they come to us. And yet in our world, we, when a child misbehaves, we think that they are no longer perfect. We are upset, but really friends, behavior is communication. If your child is acting out, we as parents need to be the detectives and figure out, is my child hungry? Is my child tired? Is my child co coming down with something? Are they sick or are they bored? How can I help them have socially acceptable behaviors? Think about it. And maybe this little girl is tired. Maybe she's feeling lonely and she wants her big sister's attention. Won't you get attention from your big sister if you hide her homework? Oh, yes, you will. So our little ones are trying as best as they can to meet their needs. And that's where behavior comes from. So we can help our children meet their needs in more socially appropriate ways, in ways that um, reflect our family values. Okay, so give that some thought. Now it's time for our ABCs. Are you ready? Here we go. A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! And now our number song, our number song in English. Here we go. Oh, no, we'll start in Mandarin. Here we go. Ego, Liango, Sangu, Xiaopanyo, Zuga, Uga, Lioga, Xiaopanyo. Oops, you put it over here. Chiga. Baga, Gioga, Xiao Panyo, Dishiga, Xiao Panyo, Jan Chi Lai, Jan Chi Lai. Yay! And our number song in Spanish. Here we go. Uno. Dos, tres circulitos, cuatro, cinco, seis cuadritos, siete, ocho, nueve rectangulitos, Diez pentagonitos, diez pentagonitos. Yay! And our number song in English. Repeat after me. <clears throat> One little, two little, 
three little circles, four little, five little, six little squares, seven little, eight little, nine little rectangles, Ten little pentagons, ten little pentagons. Yay! And now I'm going to read a few books. Here we go. Red Foods. Have you eaten red foods? Colors are all around you. You might have eaten some of these colors. There are red fruits and vegetables and there are other red fruits too, foods too. Big red foods. Some apples are big and red. The part of the apple is called the peel. The red part is called the peel. <sighs> Pomegranates are big and red. They have smooth red skin. Look at the pomegranates, everyone. What are some other red foods? This cabbage is big and red. It grows above the ground. This onion is big and red. The red part grows under the ground. What are some small red fruits? Strawberries are small and red. They have seeds on the outside. Cherries are small red fruits. They have seeds on the inside called pits. What are some other small red foods? These are kidney beans. They're small and red. Beans grow on vines. These potatoes are small and red. They grow underground, under the ground. What are some crunchy red fruit foods? Some peppers are crunchy and red. Peppers grow on plants. Radishes are crunchy and red. They grow underground. What are some soft red foods? Strawberry jam is a soft red food. It is made by cooking strawberries. Spaghetti soft is a spaghetti sauce is a soft red food. It is made by cooking tomatoes. Cranberry juice is a red drink. It is made by pressing juice out of cranberries. Beet soup is red. It is made by cooking beets in water. And this is the end of red foods. Yay! Our color for the, for the month of uh, December is red and our shape is the triangle. Now we have this book, Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. Dudney. I hope I said it correctly. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama is at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his llama mama. Mama! Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Llama Llama Red Pajama, waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Oh. 
Llama Llama Red Pajama whimper softly for his mama. Mama. Llama Llama hears the phone. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boohooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Mama! Llama Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open. <gasps> Covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Friends, it's never okay to leave your baby alone. If you, you can't leave your house, you have to stay in your home if you have your baby at home, okay? <sighs> ah, llama, llama, red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama, llama, run, run, run. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient for your Mama. It's hard for little ones to wait and wait. Time goes so slow for little ones, it's different for adults. Llama Llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. <gasps> Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. <gasps> Baby Llama goes to sleep. And that's the end of Llama Llama Red Pajama. This book is called Christmas Parade by Sandra Boyton. Boom biddy, boom biddy, boom, boom, boom. Biddy, boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom, boom, boom. What's that noise filling the room? I think that's the sound of the Christmas parade. Run to the window, pull up the shade. Yes, first comes the elephant marching along with the boom biddy boom biddy steady and strong. And next come the chickens with silver bassoons. Followed by piggies with Christmas balloons. Oh, look, drumming hippos with the rat-a-tat-tat. And more, even more hippos and one drummer cat. The Christmas parade with holly confetti. The Christmas parade. Here comes more. Are you ready? One Santa rhino, two cow saxophones, three piccolo mice, four ducks with trombones. And now last of all comes the tiniest bird with the noisiest tuba you've ever heard. The parade is now over. It's starting to snow and then ding dong, knock knock. Is it someone we know? Rush to the door. Open it wide. Look who it is standing outside. <gasps> we thank you for watching. Our time here is through. We just want to say Merry Christmas to you. We just want to say Merry Christmas to you. The band has gone home now. You are snug in your room and dreaming of things that go Boom, biddity, boom. Good night. Sleep tight. 
And that's the end of Christmas Parade. And I have one more book. And this is called, let me take off the cover. Ooh. Put it over here. This book is called, a Piñata in a Pine Tree by Pat Mora and illustrated by Magali Mora, Morales. Here we go. A Latino 12 Days of Christmas. Here we go. On the first day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me a piñata in a pine tree. On the second day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me dos pastelitos and a piñata in a pine tree. On the third day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me tres, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos and a piñata in a pine tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, mi, my amiga gave to me cinco, gui cinco guitaritas. Cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me seis trompos girando, cinco guitaritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitaritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me ocho pajaritos serenando, siete puritos bailando, seis trompos girando, cinco guitaritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me nueve campanitas. Okay, here we go. Nueve campanitas sonando, ocho pajaritos bail, um, serenando, Siete puritos bailando, seis trompos girando, tu, 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 cinco guitaritas, cuatro luminarias, tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my amiga gave to me seis Oh my goodness, I have some things. Just a second, everyone. Oh. Here we go. Seis estrellitas saltando. Nueve campanitas sonando. Ocho pajaritos so so I'm sorry. Serenando. Siete burritos bailando, seis trompos girando, tu, 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 cinco guitaritas, cuatro luminarias, tres.
tres tamalitos, dos pastelitos, and a piñata in a pine tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to my amiga gave to me once lunitas cantando. I don't have a moon here, but okay. Once um, lunitas cantando. La la la. Diez estrellitas saltando. Nueve campanitas sonando. Ocho pajaritas serenando. Siete burritos bailando. Seis trompos girando. Cinco guitaritas. Cuatro luminarias. Tres tamalitos. Dos pastelitos. And a piñata in a pine tree. <clears throat> On the twelfth day of Christmas, mi amiga gave to me doce angelitos celebrando. Woo! Once lunitas cantando. La 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 la. Diez estrellitas saltando. Nueve campanitas sonando. Ocho pajaritos serenando. Siete burritos bailando. Seis trompos girando. Tu, tu, tu. Cinco guitaritas. Cuatro luminarias. Tres tamalitos. Dos pastelitos. And a piñata in a pine tree. Gracias. Friends, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me for Circle Time. Please like and subscribe my channel if you want to. I would appreciate it. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.